Hey, War Eagle. I'm sitting here in my favorite spot, which I can't disclose. And I thought I was watching the Auburn game. However, it's a home game, so <laughs> I just checked our score on the computer. And War Eagle, we are 14 to 7 against Arkansas. Okay, here's where I'm at right now. As I showed you earlier today, I'm working on this portrait of my daughter-in-law Allison and my grandson Sebastian and I've done a little bit of shading now. So they're starting to show up. The next thing I think I'll do is darken, of course, her sunglasses. I have lots more shading on the face to do. But then right in here, we're going to make this real, real black. Right in here. That'll make them pop forward. So, um, let's see here, if we can, I've got my little, of course I have my Starbucks, a little ramekin of sepia watercolor, and a variety of brushes here. This one, I don't know if you can see it, I might have to put it up against something. So you can see, oh, there it is. Wonderful brush for making hair. Another one I like is this little fan brush. This is good because it separates. It's good for doing hair. And I think my favorite is this size 4. It's got an awesome point on it, and it's great for detail. I think I'm too close. But anyway, I um, have one other favorite brush. It's kind of an almond shape, and it's called an oval wash. This is probably the brush I use most often. And the reason I like it is because you can load a lot of pigment, and then you can control it. You can control the, the run. So I'll, I'll give you a little demonstration here. Let's see. Let's look how nicely saturated this will get. And we like that. We get a lot of coverage. Once you start, you want to keep on going so you don't have any separations in your painting. Uh, you'll get like a blossom of paint if you stop and then go back into a spot that's wet. I don't even know if I'm aiming this camera right. I'm painting with the one hand and I'm filming with the other hand and this is my cell phone. Anyway, I'll probably need to do this two or three more times to really make them pop forward. But I'm kind of excited about this. I would say I have about four or five more hours to go on this um, portrait before it's actually finished and ready to be framed. But I have a lot of patience. And I always know that if I make a mistake, that's what God made scrubber brushes for. So I like this, and uh, that's where we're at right now. I made it a little bit darker. And as I make more progress, see how that, see how that popped out a lot more? Um, I'll continue to come back and share the, new, the shading. I have a lot of work to do on the eyes and whatnot, so... Thanks for letting me share, and go Auburn. Yay, Auburn. I can't believe it. I've lived here long enough now. They've made me an Auburn fan, so war eagle.